We now head to St Helens near Liverpool to a former military barracks that's said to be extremely haunted. Oh my god. Jesus! Oh, what the f***? Man! There's someone stood there, bro. This is Mill Street Barracks. Mill Street Barracks was built in 1861 um, as a private dwelling. The building was then extended when the military came in and it was used for the training of the soldiers. When TB came into the area, there was a hospital just down the road and when that was overflowed, Mill Street Barracks then became the extension of that hospital and sadly there was allegedly a lot of death within the building. The reason why I'm attached to Mill Street Barracks is my dad was based here in the 1950s and sadly through being based here he actually caught TB but the reason why I'm here is that I feel I've got that attachment you know with me, my dad being here and my mum used to visit as well so I, you know I'm here all the time and I just feel like he's part of me in the building. During the Second World War when the Blitz was on Sadly, St. Helens was hit with the strays and some of the bodies what were around were laid to rest here in the cellar at Mill Street Barracks until you were able to go across to the churchyard. After the war, Mill Street Barracks was continued to use for military, but then it was used for various things. We used it, it was used as a dance hall. It was used one time as a boxing ring. Many people have been here and, and there, there used to be nights in here where people could be entertained. And then sadly it went into like a, a, a decline and it became abandoned for a while. In the 1970s the sea cadets bought the building and ever since then it's been used on a weekly basis you know for the cadets but also we get a lot of paranormal groups coming because we're getting a lot of activity within the building so they come along to try and investigate what's going on. As a paranormal investigator myself with my own group Ghost Quest Liverpool we've investigated this place 400 times plus and the amount of activity we had in here is, is unbelievable. And so it's one of those places that you come back again and again to because you just can't explain what goes on here. Mill Street Barracks is somewhere where I've wanted to come to for about three years now. When I first started ghost hunting, I was told an experience by somebody who was a very credible person. He was a manager of a big company. Didn't particularly believe in ghosts all that much, but he came here on a public ghost hunt and he claims that he was legitimately possessed here. He has no recollection of that event for about three or four hours. He, he's watched himself on camera and it was not him. He has no memory of it. He only recalls getting home and thinking, where the hell have I been? So for me, that is the most credible account of possession that I've ever heard. So is that going to happen to us here tonight? It was now time to go lights out and head down to this notorious basement where most of the activity here is said to be taking place. Cool. Did you hear something? Yeah. yeah I heard something. A female voice. 
I heard, well, I don't know if it was female, but I heard like a meow. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did you hear something? Oh. Oh. Did you hear something? Almost immediately, as soon as we head down into the basement, we hear and capture this clear male voice sounding like it says, oh geez. Could this be because the spirits are tired of people like us coming down here on a regular basis and said this in annoyance, knowing all too well the night that they now had in store for them? Could possibly have been the staircase, maybe, maybe. So I mean, we don't know a great deal about this place, but we do know bodies were kept down here. And didn't he say this was the main room where the bodies from the Blitz, wasn't it? It was. They were kept down here as like a cold place and it's kind of peaceful. I'm sure he said this was the room where most of them were kept. Yeah. Because it had a door to shut them off. I do you believe, obviously, where it's blocked off there, that's the tunnel that used to lead to the parish. Yeah. Obviously, to transport the bodies to the... That was it. That's, yeah. again, why they kept them here, yeah. Because the yeah. church just out the back here but would there be spirits around the bodies it goes back to the whole would a morgue be haunted would a cemetery be haunted yeah. or is it where the where the spirit leaves the body mm. don't know so I kind of do believe that you know once the souls left the body I don't believe them that the spirit will linger around the body such as graveyards cemeteries mm. and things like that or, I agree or mortuaries. I just don't I don't mm. really think that man I think they only come to like haunt or whatever it may be if they've had like trauma in their life and they've died in that, that space or whatever or in, the, in that surrounding area. Stone tape theory. How does everyone feel down here? I, I know it's underground, but it, it does feel a bit ominous, I think. But yeah, for me, I think I'm kind of a bit biased because of that story that I've been told about the possession. Yeah. I think it was down here. I mean, it is creepy, not gonna lie. But all cellars are creepy, aren't they? It's got yeah. all the stuff down here and. Obviously, you know, as, as investigators, this is what we've got to do. You know, we come to derelict buildings, scary looking buildings, mm. you know, in use buildings that just look absolutely terrifying, you know, such as this, like, you know, that creepy vibe. You gotta kind of rule that out. Mm. And just, you know. Yeah, take it for what it is at face value. You know, listen for noises and things like that, but, you know, normal, normal sounds, basically. Yeah. And just, just get into it, but. Mm. I don't know. It does feel a little bit like heavy in here, like you say. Like a bit, you know. There's something there. Mm. There is something it's just there. on the edge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's not palpable. It's not like some place where you walk into, like, in in Gulfshire. But, I don't know, there's just something a bit not right. A bit. Yeah. As per usual, when our senses pick up on something untoward, we like to use the trifield meter to check for a high EMF reading which could possibly be causing psychological effects, such as the feeling of being watched or paranoia. No, nothing. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, barely anything. Bro. What's that? What the? I thought I heard something, but dude, I, mate, I thought it was. I, I honestly, I don't know why I thought, but I thought I, I, that Owen had gone behind me then. But I literally felt as if something's like, just like this on my, on my my hoodie, just like pulling it a little tiny bit. Oh, really? Yeah, not like no joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So I heard boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's like something out here. But I thought I heard a voice. You thought you heard a drag? Like a drag noise. Right. Just before you reacted, I thought I heard a distinct voice. Yeah, dude, that was so weird. I'll tell you what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this door. Yeah, okay. Should we just space out in this room a little bit as well? You can... Yeah, let's just see what's going on. Let's, let's make ourselves targets. Okay, if this helps you in any way, 
We're now in the dark and we can't see anything. If this makes you more comfortable to come out near us, well there you go. Pick which one of us you want to interact with. Come and make a sound by one of us, come and touch one of us. We just need some kind of sign, a definite sign, that there's somebody down here with us. Did you hear that? I heard something. Mm, I heard something. It was like a ooh. Yeah, it was like a groan. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Come on, if that, if that is your voice, try and come forward towards it. And just try to let us know that you are here with us now. I feel, this is going to sound quite crazy, but I feel like there is possibly something here, and it's curious. Mm. Having now had some indication of a possible presence down here, we decide to fire up the spirit box to attempt to communicate with it further. Is there anybody down here with us right now in this basement? If so, please come into this room with us and give us your message. If you want to say anything to us, shout it into this box. Shout into this antenna on top as loud as you can. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell was that? That, that was in that corridor. That was like someone outside. going, who? Yeah. How loud was that? It was over this, man. Yeah, yeah. Outside. Guys, guys, that was definitely like here. Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. We heard a man. Whoa, whoa. footsteps. Big bang, big bang. Whoa, footsteps. Whoa, footsteps. What the hell was that? What, huh? What the f was that? Excuse my French, what? Mate, someone's just like gone, like in my ear. That's what it sounded like. like. You heard a whistle? Not like a whistle, but it was like, is this sort of like a, like a sound, in, literally right here, as if someone's just like made a weird sound in my ear, man. Near it. You already stood in me, sir. So what the f? <laughs> <laughs> and again, again, again. Right. I'm gonna just call this in. We know Jamie's at the other end of the building. Yeah. Let's just make sure he's not moving he's around. Not moving around upstairs. Uh, come in, Jamie. Can you hear me? Just want to check your whereabouts. Um, are you still at the far end of the building by the base room? Yeah, we're still in there. Hmm, are you hearing any loud bangs, like from the ballroom area? No, nothing. We just did so fine. We've not been so much notice. Okay, some really deep thuds. Sound like they're from up the ballroom way. Right, let's ramp this up again. Yeah. Come on, so we're hearing a man down here. Can you tell us your name, please? Through this box, and shout into this antenna. <laughs> I hope you don't mind us being down here. We're just here to speak to you. We want to try and find out why you're still down here. Right, just run on the AM frequency now. Did you get any better results? Shout into this box as loud as you can. So that we can hear you. I, I almost thought I said it was like a hello in a female voice. It was like a hello. Right. But I'm not too sure. I'll have to check out in the review. Okay, I didn't pick it up myself. No. 
Whoa, whoa. There it goes again. Whoa, whoa. There it goes again. Whoa, whoa. There it goes again. Hello? We've heard you twice now. A man. That was really deep. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it was like a whoa. Oh, no way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Someone just flicked my hair. Sorry. What's going on? Someone just pinged my hair. Pinged behind your hair? Ear. Yeah. Flicked it. Really? 100% behind my ear, that chunk of hair just went. No way. There's no cobwebs. There is up there, but. Yeah, there's some big ones up there, but there's big, not enough to flick your hair, though, is it? Here. It's not like I just walked into it. This is where we're hearing that man. We have heard you twice now. I'd love to know your name, but I weren't hearing it through this. Can you try and just say it? See, this is exactly what I was saying earlier. If you just wait in silence, you'll never get that sound just crystal clear like you want it. No. You need other ambient noise. It seems to travel off ambient noise. Yeah. Yeah. Vibrations, it's whatever weird, you're doing. It's like science, we just don't understand. Mm. Does it help you pinpoint exactly where we are? Do you, do you try and use that as like a... a locator? Do you follow those vibrations of the sound or something? Having heard an unknown voice talk over us a few times now, we decided that it was the right time to begin our main experiment for this investigation. To put the widely feared Ouija board through a thorough test once and for all. For tonight's investigation, we've come with the plan of doing something a bit different to normal. We're quite equipment based investigators aren't we, we like to use science as much as possible as opposed to the more traditional means. One of the most feared things you can interact with the paranormal with is of course a Ouija board. So many people claim that it's ruined their lives messing on a Ouija board. The amount of like bad things that happen to them afterwards, creating attachments and just, just negativity in their lives. It's not something we've ever done on Dark Territory, but tonight, I think down here would be a really suitable place to do it. Agreed. Yeah, maybe we can get something. A bit sceptical about it, but we'll yeah. Go. yeah, that's it. Let's touch on that as well. I mean, have you ever used a ball car? Yeah, I've never really got anything to rest of it. You know, is it is it just theat you know theatrics like you know horror films like start it all off? I don't know, but it does go back a long time. Yeah. You know, it wasn't it wasn't just a Ouija board. It was a spirit board. You know, people used to use it back in the day to contact their ancestors and things. And obviously, B and M Games bought the rights to it and literally called it. Ouija, yes, yes, board. Is it films or is it legit? Is that man still down here? You were showing yourself to us earlier. Did it move? Yeah, it did move then. Neither are you two. No. We're just all on well, it really said, light uh, right now. Huh? I'm saying but we're all on it really light, not moving. But yeah, it comes towards me then, didn't it? Hmm. So was that you? Is that the man who we heard earlier? Come on, we've just been asking to hear your your name, please. To spell out your name, just so we know who you are. Or if you don't want to tell us your name, this board has a yes and a no on it. So, if I ask you the question, do you mind us being down here? Give us a yes or a no. That goes out to anybody down here, not just this man. There's a flash then. Do you know what? What the f was that? So, literally, a few seconds before then, I saw what looked like something came across this way. It was like, I don't want to say a shadow, 
Right. It, right. it made me blink, so I was like, and like, then this. Like it dimmed the light? Yeah. And it come brighter again? It was a flash then. But it, it started over there and it was like, it came across, and then that way happened. Right. That's weird, isn't it? That, that camera is seen that way. Was this merely an insect, such as a moth, flying in front of a light source that was suspended over the table? Possibly. But the strange thing is that Owen sees something approaching from the shadows just moments before it happens, of which he wouldn't have seen an insect, and describes the movement of something much larger. Yo, can anyone else feel that draft right now? No. Like a cold blast of air just like happened. Yeah. From above or what? No, I don't know. It's just it was coming from the side of it. So is that you then? <clears throat> is that you around us? Maybe you just passed over the table and we just might have seen you. Is that is that you? Is that you? Please try and reply to us with this board, that's all it's here for. It's just interesting because you know, the guys here, they investigate this place a lot, Jamie and his team, and they've seen this shadow yeah, a couple it. of times recently, yeah. and we just asked for that man, and that's when that happened. It does seem as like a, a male spirit down here. Hmm. Are you guarding something down here? Was there something important down here? Is that why you're still situated around this area? Thing is, is it is it because of stone tape there and it's just residual thing we're playing back and forth? Or is it, you know, any kind of intelligence? Because if it is residual then, you know, you, you know, theory is that you, you can never really interact with it as such. So if you can understand us right now, can you try and do something else for us? Say something if you can. All right, all right, I've got an idea. Why don't we run the spirit box and try to use this at the same time? To see if yeah. it does build some do. kind of energy. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Do. yeah. Seems to work out a little yeah. bit. Just fix it up. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. Cool. All right, so now that this box on again, well done. We haven't heard anything from you yet that's convincing that it's you. But it's just another means. You don't seem to be communicating on this board like we're asking. See your breath, man. I think it's on that pole. Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's not ice pole that's gone right here. Can you see mine? Right. Right. You can't have my breath. What's my breath, bro? It can't over here, man. It's literally by the board. Oh man, I'm going so cold right now. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus bro. Are you making us cold? It's almost, it's almost gone again now. Can you see it from so? See you around me then. You make me go cold in here. So Come on, try and communicate on this. Let's just really hold it lightly. We'll try and move it around a little bit. It's like the slightest touch on it though. Gently as you can touch it. Try and move it. Come on, what do you want to tell us? Somebody here wants to tell us something. Yeah. Is that E? 
Spirit Box just confirmed that the planchette had in fact guided us to the letters R and E, attempting to spell out the name Reggie. And was this the spirit who we'd been hearing down here on multiple occasions? Looking back at the footage, Carl was right. We do appear to be completely zoning out. But was this simply down to the fact that we were in a cold, dark basement late at night, with little activity seeming to happen on the Ouija board? Or was something beginning to affect us in some way mentally? Either way, it was time to turn things up a notch. Sold, Reggie. What's your other plan? You said you had another plan? Yeah. It'd be a little bit controversial to people, but I'm thinking why don't we make this appeal more to the darker stuff as well? Right, okay. Like modify the board a bit. <laughs> modify the board a bit. People, you know, people that proper believe in Ouija boards will think, "Don't you dare! What a stupid thing to do!" But in what way? How are you going to modify the board? Yeah, well, I suppose to like make it more inviting for more darker stuff. What jumps out at me is writing six 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 on it. <laughs> to start with that. I mean, we, we can go to town more. We can research some satanic symbols if you want and get them on there. I don't know. I just think, is it going to make absolutely any difference or not? Is this just a piece of cardboard, isn't it? <clears throat> well, you know, it's it's a piece of cardboard, of course, yeah. as they all are, or you know. But um, it's it's it, it's a way of communicating. Mm. It could be made of metal. It could be, but uh, it's it's if you're gonna put those kind of symbols and meanings on there, I personally don't think it's gonna have any kind of 
effect. Effect. Yeah. It's just... No me, to be honest, but... Be, try it. That's the, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like, where do we go next? If you want to do it, man. Let's, that's let's, all I can think of doing. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Uh, so first... Let's start with the 666, yeah? Right. I like how you put it on my side. Well, it's really cold blast, whatever, isn't it? And if you guys got any ideas, go for it. I'm just going to do a little bit of research here. Right, I think I've got something in mind. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. It's almost the tank engine, man. Your turn, man. I'll take it in turn. Oh. What do you think the dark spirits would be amused by? What would Reggie like? Generally hates her. Good as anything. Um, oh, I might just need to refer to my research here. <laughs> right. Because he is <laughs> satanic, isn't, <he? laughs> isn't it? There is a deeper meaning between with. Uh, there the, isn't there. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. What is this? What does this mean? Apparently, this is the symbol of Lucifer. Got a bit of that in there. Okay. So, so, so wait a minute. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm loving this. Did you, did you not feel that? No. F off, no, mate. I'm being dead serious. Did you not feel it? What is it? It was almost like an earthquake. I, I'm surprised, didn't you? No, but. Oh great, yeah. I'm, so I'm legit freaking out now, man. Because I just like, did I literally invoke? Lucifer. Oh, I've got chills. Hey, that was oh, way freaky as shit. It could, always, it could always be Thomas the Tank Engine coming through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? But no, seriously. Oh, mate. It's almost like something. My first initial thought was like a big lorry, obviously, we're underground, has yeah. driven over. Obviously, mm. that's not possible. But there was just a. Like a shudder. Yeah. Lucifer, is that legit your symbol I just drew on this board? If it is, and I've kind of created a portal to you, and you created an earthquake because of that. Make a sound, if you're Lucifer, Jesus. Throw one of the chairs at us. Yeah, mate, that's great, dude. <laughs> I think it's just come to the point where it's getting a bit silly now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you know, I don't want to just like sit and laugh and make jokes and just go on with it, or I just like, I'd just be worried. Is anybody in here with us right now? Anybody or anything? Make yourself known if you are. Make yourself known. Jesus, what the f***, man? What the f***? Yo, there's someone stood there, bro. There's someone stood there. Holy shit, the f***. Seriously, bro, there's someone stood right there. Did you, did you see that as well, bro? Did you see that? My life. Did that camera have seen it? Holy shit, I don't know. Did we... What? Dude, 100% there was someone stood right there, mate. Dude, I kid you not, there was something there. Looking back through the footage, we were absolutely shocked to see what looks like a black shadow moving past the camera. Does this confirm what Carl and I both saw? It was as if it was able to manifest for a split second before fading away. Or was this simply some kind of reflective anomaly caused by my movement on the camera? 
As you can see, the shadow seems to move the exact same time as I do. However, this does not explain what Carl and I both seen moments earlier. Jesus Christ, like, like over there somewhere, bro. It was like she stood right there. It, do you know what? It was almost like he was just standing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, you both just seen a hundred percent. There was someone stood right there. It's more of a shadow thing. Goodness. Oh, just blackness. Yeah. Someone was literally stood right, like, right here, man. I'm not joking. It was like, I don't know what go over it, but like here. Like, as if they just, like, standing here what, like, watching. That's it. That close? Oh, bro. Where, bro, man, where, 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 where? I, I, I would have said a little bit more back, but it, 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 it it's like someone just stood watching. Like, 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 literally, like, like this. That's it. Just stood watching us, mate. I'm not joking you. We sat, sat here. Jeez. It's like, he kept walking over, but I was like, nah, is it? No, and then, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, it was there. It was just right there. Like legit, just there, bro. I saw it for a brief second like that. And that was it. I was freaked. Gone. You saw the same thing, Carl? Yeah, it was literally someone just stood like there, just, just watching us. The thing is, I've been looking over both directions, this side, that side. And all of a sudden, over there, it just looked different. It was, the shape was there. And that's when I bolted. Carl obviously saw the same thing. So that's two of us saw it right at the same time. Not good. <sighs> I'm not suggesting for a second that. It's got to be because of this, man. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that's the devil, but you know, what we saw was just. It was. It was, oh, I don't know. Just it was just too coincidental. You know, it was too yeah. coincidental to. Start with that tremor that you said you felt, man. I'm just freaking out at what I drew on that board. I wasn't even like taking it seriously, you know. I just Googled satanic symbols and that one said Lucifer and I thought, yeah, let's go with that. Sure. It's not burning me. Man, don't be saying that as well. You smell that? It's like burning. Oh yeah. It is. It's like a well, it's weird. like a something's hot. Smell that. What have you done? I can't, I can't smell it. What have you done? What the bro, what was that? See, there's loads of movement going on out there, I'm hearing it. Check it out, it's not like a keg. Still unsure if all what just happened was the cause of the Ouija board, we thought it was best that we close it down properly and say goodbye. If you just appeared in the room behind us, is your name Reggie? You haven't made that clear. But we know that you are down here. We can't stay for much longer. Could you please just do one last thing that just, just proves indefinitely that you are down here for whatever reason? We've seen you and we've heard you. So maybe you can show yourself one more time. I remember touching one of us. We've not heard your voice in a while. It's gone too quiet. Mm. It's absolutely <clears throat> like thickly silent. It kind of feels like the energy's like dropped off in a way. Mm. So, you know, is it because it's, it's acknowledged us, you know, acknowledged itself to us, we've seen it. Um, you know, 
we've read it multiple times. Yeah. Whatever it was here is not here. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Is that right? Are you not down here anymore? With the activity seeming to have completely dissipated, we ended the investigation here. I think we can confidently say that within the basement area at least, there seems to be the presence of a male spirit, possibly with the name of Reggie. Well, the big question is, was it Reggie, as we're now calling him? that myself and Owen saw stood at the back of the room watching us? Or was this a result of the sigil of Lucifer that Sean had drawn onto the Ouija board? It sounds completely crazy to suggest that drawing that symbol could summon some kind of dark entity. But why did I feel the ground tremor at the exact moment the symbol was completed? It was the one and only time I felt this, which for me rules out the passing of heavy traffic. On the flip side, if what we saw was a result of a satanic symbol, then why did none of us feel a negative, evil presence around this time? This makes me think that perhaps it was more likely Reggie, which does match Owen's initial thoughts early in the night of something curiously watching us from the shadows. Regarding the Ouija board itself, during the night, none of our opinions on it were changed. We all still shared the same view of it being something overhyped and not a credible means of communication. However, Carl's idea of running the spirit box alongside it has possibly changed our views. Having now reviewed the footage and realised that it did state the letters that we were possibly being drawn towards, even confirming the name Reggie, it certainly made us wonder. But having said that, we personally don't think it's something that needs to be feared, but perhaps don't draw the sigil of Lucifer on one, like us three idiots did. Jeez, what?